Our final story tonight, it's our In Focus and our Brenda Mack explores the art community in Aiken and she tells us more. <laughs> Every month in Aiken, you can hear the sound of artwork in the making. This time, marker, pen, and paper resonates from the Jake Quees Art Center. Look at this class, isn't that pretty? Here, students are mimicking stained glass coloring. And this is a new thing for us. We've never done anything like this. This is part of Kaleidoscope, a monthly art program hosted by the Art Center. I like that about this class is that we can choose our own colors and choose our own pictures instead of having them picked for us. They were very intense. <laughs> you know, they're not just passing time chatting with each other. They are working on their art, which they love to do. <laughs> this program is one of its kind in the area. They look at the world differently once they come to an art class. Use different colors and everything doesn't always have to fit into a specific idea or anything like that, so it's good to encourage them to be as creative as they can be. I like being an artist. You like being an artist, yeah. Jayquees also has an art gallery that features work of local artists. The rotating exhibit brings in pieces that captures life in northern Minnesota. We really try to feel the pulse of the community and want to display things that they want to come and see. I love it. I keep all their stuff. It's nice, you know, because they put a lot of time into it and they get excited, so that makes you excited. The Jayquees Art Center is also planning on bringing back the community canvas event where it displays artwork made by residents. For In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. The Kaleidoscope Art Classes are hosted every first Saturday of the month. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.